welcome to today's video. It'd be looking gorgeous outside today. It was a fun, amazing day. Bright and warm and cozy, a little bit wet, just the way I like it. So you guys know that Brandon lent us a couple of saddles. What the heck, where are they? He also lent us this English one right here. Uh, we're excited to try. Ooh. On Gracie, but we didn't have a girth that fit her. You guys know you've been following us. We didn't have a girth, so we got a girth last night to take it back as soon as we find out if it fits. So we're gonna do that and try and figure it out so that we can start riding Gracie English and start like working with her more and doing more stuff with her. So cross your fingers that it fits. That's the saddle? I hope so. Yeah. Are you sure that's not? Oh yeah, that's the saddle. You know how I know? Like we have so many Western saddles now, I never know which is which. Different girth. Yeah. Different padding underneath. Okay. Oh yeah. And it, know, uh, it's missing the fence there that's metal. And like there's holes. Just wait, so you gotta take that up. Take it from Gabby, please. Well, can I take it up after? Alright. Do you have the fence People. out there? That's like not the well, gate, but like the fence that's metal. Yeah. And it has holes. My cat ran down and ran through it. And my dog was still in the arena. I didn't know where she was. And then she ran into the fence. Also, our farrier just told me that she's coming t two hours early. So we gotta get already ready. The moment when your farrier says, I'm gonna be here 15 min in 15 minutes. And you're not even ready and you don't even know where the broom is. You don't even know what you're doing. Our horses haven't even been fed yet. Like, what the heck? But Laura is always accommodating. Always. I always tell her, yes, you can come whenever you're ready. The problem is Sam's been the one in charge of the barn the last few days. And so now, it's a mess. <laughs> Hurry up. Uh, so we're just going to shove the horses in their stalls with a little bit of hay because they haven't gone out. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to try and clean this barn up. Sam does not sweep. Sam has given up sweeping. In that. In that one. They haven't come in in a long time. Okay. Well, look at how good my girl is. She'll just be waiting. Good girl. Oh, she needs her feet picked. one spot to go. Hey, you throw them hay and I'll clean the barn fast as we can. <laughs> oh my goodness. 15 minutes. Did Sam just close that door? Yeah. Oh, that's sad, you guys. Summer is over. I also need to clean that, that paddock today. month we're done with both the boys and the girls and I'm just sweeping up the mess here and it reminded me like long ago like when we first started having horses we had so much pressure to use like a certain farrier because it was the people that we knew and they trusted him and and we didn't know any better and we liked him and and we just had so many problems and and it just was really stressful it was a really stressful situation and I stayed in that stressful situation for a long for three years and the reason I did is because I felt because I lacked confidence in my ability to 
make a choice for our horses because I felt like I didn't know enough. So, but now that we have two farriers that I love to death, like we have a girl that comes here and does the girls and she is phenomenal. And then we have a, a, a really good, skilled, amazing man that comes to the barn. I feel so much happier inside. Like, and I made the decision myself and I went against the grain and I pushed for it and I did it. And um, it actually has been the best situation, the best, like everything. Like it took so much stress away from me finding people that I like to work with and that listen to me and hear what I have to say and, and work really well for our horses. Like, and I just wanted to tell you guys, like sometimes we stay stuck in a situation out of fear. Fear is such a huge thing. I think most of the things that I make mistakes about are due to fear. And sometimes you just have to stand up and standing up is always better than staying in a bad situation because of fear, always. And it can get scary at first and it can be hard at first, but in the end, it always works out better to go with your gut and make the choice. And I keep telling myself, I will never stay in a situation that I don't like based out of fear and I keep making the same mistake over and over and over but this past year I've branched out and I've done things differently and I've made different choices and it's it's been uh oh please text me Gabby just called me um I don't know why it makes me nervous anyways I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was important to me and it was something I was just thinking about hi is this on video? Yeah, you want me to turn it off? Yeah. Okay, so this is an unusual situation. But I just heard that there's a loose horse. Someone just called me and said, oh my gosh, did your horse get loose? There's a loose horse in a field just down the road from you. It went into a field of cows. And I'm like, holy heck. And I ran outside and I, I looked at the window and our horses were here. And then I worried about Finn and Chino and then it turns out that it's like just down the road from us it's two kilometers away that's that that's kind of far actually so anyways we're going to drive by because the people can't find the horse's owner and so I'm going to drive by and see if I recognize the horse because our trainer lives close to there too and if not I'll tell them like that we'll take because it's in a field of cows that we can take the horse do you think we should take the horse no yes, why it, because we don't need to we wouldn't keep the horse. We'd just hold it for the people because so it doesn't get hurt. We're set up for horses. This this horse just wandered into the cow field. So anyway, but that's my why thing. Chino hate cows. Yeah, I know. So anyways, but we like we found a like we found a stray horse. If you found a stray horse, would you go get it or no, would? No, let's just hurry up and. All right, let's go. All right. Apparently, it's in this field, and we can't see it. I thought we'd see the horse at least. Anyways, I'll tell the people that we'll come and take it and keep it until we can find the owners if they need us to. How we get it right every time. Cause these days we're partners in crime. And I like it like that. We go all in and I'm falling. But I like it like, like it like that. And it's so wrong but still so now so penny i think like a little bit of her problem is that she's not just a standing around kind of horse like finn does not like to just stand still he likes to move and be busy and she's like why am i standing here like this is just dumb is it just dumb penny pickle look this is good hey go ahead eat it up you want to eat it yeah see it's fun in here this is a yeah, you got it. This could be your home. You could stay in here. Oh, she's mad. Do you guys see? <laughs> she, I can tell. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but she's not that happy in here. <laughs> she's like, fine, I agreed to walk in and walk out. I don't want to stand in here. But she's in here and she's all by herself. Yeah. And Penny gets herdbound in terms of, like, she likes to be with the mares. But if I take Penny someplace by herself, she doesn't she's good she's okay with that calm down just be happy don't worry oh and there's willow freaking out willow does is herd bound you hear her do you guys hear her 
Willow's like, where's my girl? So that's a size 30 girth and the saddle fits her? I just got the girth on. Just? A, a 32? I just got it on though. Okay. All right, so what do you guys think? I think Gracie has a new saddle. All right. Listen, little mini. It looks so dark in here again. I miss it. I miss the summer. Hold on. Hold on. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I have another treat. So our farrier told me that, like, I always feel bad about their feet. And I said, like, we hoof pick them at least three times a week. Always. Because Penny will tell me when her feet are full of dirt. She doesn't like it. And she said, oh, I can tell that you hoof pick them. And as she said, like, some horses she goes to and they have dirt in their hooves like like normal but she says it's like such bad cement she can't even get it out like she can tell the difference huge difference she said penny pen oh perfect yeah those are my red stirrups they look great by the way yeah so i asked gabby like do we have nice stirrups and she said yeah so uh we have because your legs that short yeah, well, this is great for the grandkids. You know what we need? Don't we have a strap? Yeah. Holy yeah. heck, strap? Yeah. Oh, the grandkids are riding my strap. Off. Well, now I we have... I pulled it off. I pulled too hard. Uh-oh, you got to put it back on. All right, so Sophie, Gabby's getting yeah, her already too hard. for this weekend. Oh, so you guys know that I'm trying to get another saddle. I'm just half half looking because it's just really busy right now like every time i'm editing and doing other stuff and and if i get bored i am always looking at saddles trying to find the one that i want i really want the treeless one anyways i'm trying to find the one that i want but what i really want also are good stirrups and i asked my friend the other day about them and she didn't had never heard about them but stirrups they have stirrups that are designed to be user friendly so instead of like just laying flat like this all the time they're designed to sit like this even though I know you can train your saddle to <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing little mini girl you gonna go for a walk with me in your field cleaned up all the poop in here today I mean there's still a little yeah yeah and there's a lot of poop back here I'll probably do that too maybe tomorrow and cut all these little plants down. I'm gonna go for a walk. Yeah, there's so much that, well, they obviously come back here because there's poop all the way to the back corner, guys. Don't eat leaves. Why does she eat leaves? Is that normal? That's not normal. Although Penny did, or Stella did it too. Stella ate leaves. Let me give yourself a belly ache. Willow is eating leaves too. Must be what they do before they have a nap. Maybe leaves make them tired, help them sleep better. I don't know. Just joking. Nice yeah, the horses are out. I like it a lot. It's super cute. I love it, Gracie. You're an English girl again. I mean, and brown stirrup leathers and yeah. red stirrups. <laughs> Black saddle, brown stirrup leathers, red stirrups, and a brown. The only thing that looks great are the stirrups and the saddle. Well, and the you, bridle. you got to do what you got to do. And her saddle pad says Amazing Grace. That's her name. That's her show bar name and her, no, her bar name is Amazing Grace. Her show name is Shopping for Shoes. It also says where it's from. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, she she's name. ready. You're ready for Thanksgiving. Shopping for yes, shoes. Yes, you are. We're riding Western so that they can hold on. Yeah, well, we have a strap. So we're keeping it. We decided it's a keeper. Like it can, Kaylee can ride in this. Elizabeth can ride in this. The reason Gabby doesn't ride her is because she's too big for for Gracie. I can actually ride her because Elizabeth's like almost taller than me. Elizabeth is even too tall for this horse. But it's really hard to find a rider that is the perfect fit. That's why they gave. Her That's why it's Kaylee. That's why it's Kaylee. Kaylee's the only perfect fit. Don't you know that you're beautiful?